Good evening. Uh, I'm wondering how many of you have ever seen this book? Oh, yes. Not too many hands. It's called The Love Book, and it's by Lenore Kendall. Um, the poems are much more uh, uh, famous than, than this particular edition, which was published back in 1966. It's eight pages, four poems. Let me read you one of the poems. Uh, this one is called uh, To Fuck With Love, Phase Three. <laughs> to fuck with love, to love with all the heat and water, the fuck, the fever of your mouth, devouring all my secrets and my alibis, leaving me pure, burned into oblivion, the sweetness unendurable, mouth barely touching mouth. I am all those ladies of antiquity, enamored of the sun. My cunt is a honeycomb. We are covered with cum and honey. We are covered with each other. My skin is the taste of you. Fuck. The fuck of love. Fuck. The yes, entire fuck. Love out of ours. The cock and cunt. Fuck. The fuck of pure and pour into pour. The smell of fuck. Taste it. Love dripping skin to skin. Ah, you reflected in the golden mirror. We are the avatars of Krishna and Radha. I am the god animal, the, ma the mindless cunt deity. The he god animal is over me, through me. We are become one total angel united in fire. Sacred our acts and our actions. Sacred our parts and our persons. Sacred, the sacred cunt. Sacred, the sacred cock. Miracle, miracle. Sacred, the primal miracle. Sacred, the god animal. Sacred, the beautiful fuck. <laughs> well, that, that, uh, this book um, so upset the city fathers of San Francisco and the established order. Now, this was in 1966 that the police descended on two bookstores that were selling it, City Lights in uh, North Beach and uh, the Psychedelic Bookshop, Long Gone in Haight-Ashbury. It was, of course, a clear scene and a threat to public morality, and it became instantly famous, <laughs> as Lenore did, or infamous, if you will. Sales exploded of this little book, the more were reprinted, and as a gesture of gratitude, Lenore donated 1% of all the proceeds to the police retirement fund. <laughs> <laughs> the book itself was a landmark, and not just because of its publicity and its notoriety, but it did, it helped to lead American poetry to a new and vital and lyrical language uh, dealing openly with the joys and glories of sex. At the trial, she called it holy erotica. She said it represented her search for an appropriate way to worship and expressed a belief that, quote, sexual acts between loving persons are religious acts. Uh, eventually, that decision was overturned, but it took eight years. Um, <coughs> But she, Lenore, was more than merely a writer. She was deeply committed and involved in a life of what we now call the counterculture, uh, which began here in San Francisco, spread across the country, spread across the world, and is still having its effects felt uh, everywhere. Lenore knew everyone. She was everywhere. She appears in Jack Kerouac's uh, Big Sur, as the... Um, Ramona Schwartz. That's right. <coughs> Ramona Schwartz. Jack called her a monster Romanian goddess. <laughs> and uh, if any of you remember the uh, gathering of the tribes in, at the Golden, in Golden Gate Park in 1967, uh, it's also known as the human being, uh, Lenore was the only woman that was on stage who spoke 
She was there with all the heavy hitters of the day. Yes. Uh, Timothy Leary and Ramdas, who was known as Richard Alpert back then. And they were the gurus of the LSD movement. Uh, there was uh, Ginsburg and Snyder and McClure and Dick Gregory. And there was Lenore Kandel. And she got up, stoned on LSD, <laughs> because she said when she took it just before, well, we talk about the truth of acid, let's find out. <laughs> so she got up stoned at that BN, and she read this entire book, the four poems. Oh. Got a huge ovation. And then Michael McClure got up and said, you know, it's Lenore's 35th birthday. And 25,000 people sang Happy Birthday to <laughs> Mark uh, The next year, she published this book called The Word Alchemy through Evergreen Review and Grove Press. Um, I'll, I'll read you one of the, the poems uh, that she wrote. There's some very tender and sweet poems in here. There's a section called Circus. This is one of them. Uh, it's it's uh, about an acrobat, an aerial artist, and it's called Love in the Middle of the Air. <laughs> Catch me. I love you. I miss you. I love you. Catch me. Catch my left foot, my right foot, my hand. Here I am hanging by my teeth 300 feet up in the air and catch me. Here I come flying without wings, no parachute, doing a double, triple, upper, super, flip, flop, somersault. Here, up here, without a safety net, and catch me. You caught me. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> now it's your turn. <laughs> Uh, her poems were republished last year, two years after her death. I uh, you know, collect a version of collected poems uh, from you. North Atlantic. Thank you. The poems from Love Book. She deserved attention.